India conquers the moon. Celebrations are erupting across the country. Prime Minister Modi celebrating with the Indian diaspora in South Africa. Prime Minister was in Johannesburg for the BRICS summit. Uh, was virtually had joined live with the ISRO team watching that final landing of Chandrayaan 3. And uh, after that successful venture, of course, Prime Minister took to social media to put out a statement. Feeling the fervor all the way from Johannesburg, cheering the Indian diaspora in South Africa. As you can see, this was after when he uh, met uh, some of uh, those uh, uh, in, uh, Indian origin individuals who are staying, the diaspora in South Africa, where he is in Johannesburg for the BRICS summit. He had joined virtually, but what a moment. What a moment it was when the final 10 to 5 seconds eventually and then the Chandrayaan 3 landed, the Vikram lander on the moon. It will be there for the next 14 days. We'll be exploring further experiments on the South Pole. But sadly, amid all of this glory that India has achieved, there is a political credit war that has uh, erupted between the Congress Party and the Bharatiya Janata Party over the advancement in the country's space technology during their respective tenures. So while most of the leaders celebrated the achievement, first the Congress said it was Jawaharlal Nehru, a first prime minister who laid the foundation stone of space science, which is now world famous. Congress uh, put out a statement and mentioned that Jawaharlal Nehru's scientific outlook and vision laid the foundation of Indian space research and Chandrayaan 3's success today is because of the early efforts that were put in. But the BJP was quick to jump in and respond. The Saffron Party also shared an image comparing uh, their statement with the Congress Party. The BJP on one hand gave credit to ISRO scientists as they claim, while the Congress Party was busy taking all that credit and giving it to Nehru instead. 